हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज साइडेंटल ब्लॉग्स एंड टूडेज वीडियो विल बी अबाउट ड्राई सॉकेट हाउ टू प्रिवेंट इट एंड हाउ टू ट्रीट इट सो ड्राई सॉकेट इज अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम इन डेंटिस्ट्री एंड विद डेज विद एडवांसमेंट इन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड विद एडवांसमेंट इन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टेक्निक्स एंड द लेस ट्रोमेटिक यू डू एक्सट्रैक्शन द चांसेस ऑफ ड्राई सॉकेट रिड्यूज ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन वी आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग अर टूथ वी हैव टू मेक श्योर prior extracting the tooth we have to ask about the medical history of the patient and we have to see whether the patient is diabetic or not antibiotics for 3 days and then i wish to call the patient for extraction sometimes we need to take a iop before the extraction of the root for example suppose you are extracting a 4 eight and you think that you will be able to do it and you have done a lot of cases so if you do the x ray beforehand so you can see the position of the root you can see whether the root is curved or not okay sometimes you'll be you will be seeing in the x ray that the root is j shape so you will be having prior instruments and you will give a proper appointment to the patient for example you are doing a very tough extraction and suddenly there is a lot of crowd in your clinic so you'll be doing it in a hurry burry and you won't give proper time to the patient you won't be able to you may forget some important step while doing the process right so give a proper appointment to the patient where you don't have any prior or after appointments and you make sure that all the instruments in your clinic are properly sterilized and keep kept in a very nice clean manner make the patient comfortable do the extraction and you should not do the extraction in hurry hurry suppose so when we are extracting the tooth and you are holding the socket and suppose you are extracting a 16 or 26 so at that time you will see okay this tooth is very firm so what you need to do is after extraction of the tooth suppose the root breaks so we have to do transcellular extraction we have to cut the root and uh, remove it so in these cases there is chances of dry socket okay so what after the extraction what i do is i compress the socket very nicely with my with my both the fingers i compress the socket very nicely and very tightly after that i give alu gel which is uh, available in the market and uh, it is septodon company is septodon you can buy alulagel and you can give little bit 4 to 5 fibers of septodon and it really helps in healing of the socket there won't be any post operative pain in the patient plus whenever you extract the tooth you tell the patient that within half an hour you have to take all the antibiotics which you have prescribed see the main cause of uh, dry socket is a lack of proper blood supply after the extraction suppose the patient um gargles immediately or spits again and again after the extraction or you don't compress the socket or we have done a very traumatic extraction so these are the cases which will go into dry socket okay the other name of dry socket is alveolar osteitis so when you are doing the extraction make sure you have done the curettage of the socket very nicely suppose the dental granuloma is there and uh, you don't clean it properly and you don't induce proper bleeding so what what will happen is the clot will lodged in a proper place and if the patient gargles if you don't give the instruction that okay you don't have to gargle the patient will go home and gargle all the clot which is there inside the socket will get dislodged okay so there won't be any blood supply in the area and the peripheral bone from where you have the alveolar socket which is there it will get necrotic and patient will start getting pain after the third day if the pain starts after third to fifth day then it's a case of dry socket so what is the clinical appearance you will be seeing a yellowish pseudo membrane in and around the socket plus there will be severe pain and foul smell patient won't be able to eat anything so what is the treatment you have to do is you call the patient and simply you have to put zinc oxide eugenol pack inside the socket how you make it you take a slab or a mixing pad then you put little bit of zinc oxide powder and eugenol mix it with a spatula make it like a ball and insert into the socket before doing it just give you give a little bit of local anesthesia if it is feasible within 1 hour the patient's pain will reduce because dry socket pain is very bad it will cause severe pain for continuously 24 hours and patient will be telling you nagging you calling and you will keep on giving antibiotics better to call the patient take a proper iopa sometimes you have to see patient comes from other clinic also so you have to check a proper take a proper iopa whether there is any kind of root piece left or not so if it is there you have to again remove it and again you have to follow all the precautions so what are the what is the take home story so while doing the extraction after completing it all the 
socket should be compressed properly you should give a proper cotton you have to give all the instructions properly like patient should not gargle patient should not suck anything like an ice cream or juice and he or she should take water from the glass third thing like all the instruments should be properly autoclaved fourth thing if the extraction is traumatic please do suture and other things which we all know we should induce a little bit of bleeding after the extraction so that there is a formation of clot and then you have to give proper antibiotics suppose the tooth was having severe pain then you have to give augmentin 625 or any 625 mg medicine tablets along with that you can give metronazole 400 mg two times daily and a painkiller and what i do is after doing the proper extraction sometimes i give intramuscular injection also dynapar aq to the patient so that the patient doesn't feel any kind of pain and you should also instruct the patient not to put any finger or put your tongue over the extraction area because that dislodges the socket and your hand is already so much infected and you're putting the hand inside the mouth that also causes a lot of problems so today we'll end up this video i this video please do share like share subscribe and um, you can follow me in insta as well bye bye love you all take care